What's up, Basil Bays? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Finger. How you doing? <laughs> I know this little top bun keeps getting bigger and bigger. Uh, I was just filming something and I threw this little top on. I got this top from the thrift store for Miss Sweet Sure Sally. <laughs> so, please give this video a thumbs up. I hope you guys are doing well and enjoying all my little skits. And if you're on Instagram, why don't you come on over to Instagram and follow your girl? And you know, I don't know, it's like her page. It's follow her page, okay? And then I've been trying to work with this green screen, but I am not good at it. The lighting or the color. I think I'm gonna put the green screen away. So the kids are at school. And you know when you're in a house by yourself and you hear noise, you be creeping down to the door, you be like, I know I heard something. You know, in the movies, when you hear something you investigate, you dead. <laughs> but I was like, I know I heard something. Then the doorbell rang. And I was like, shh, to myself. Nobody else is in this house. I'm like, shh. To myself I'm not going to know though even in this neighborhood that I live in so I try to peek to the window but Bobby's door is locked so I'm like dang I gotta go back and get the key are they gonna ring the bell again but my car is outside so they know somebody's probably here but maybe somebody picked me up I don't know but I'm not going downstairs let me hurry up and get dressed just in case I gotta run or fight or something so I'm looking around for some clothes because people don't come to my house, especially when you normally don't have visitors and somebody's ringing your bell and you're not friends with any of the neighbors in the neighborhood because you haven't had a chance to meet them yet. So it's not because you're anti-social, it's because you haven't met them yet. Anyway, quite, quite, quite. So, I get dressed. I finally got the key to look out the window in Bobby's room. I don't have a front window in my bedroom. So I have to go to the kids' room to look out the front door, okay? So I don't see anything. I don't see no car. I don't see no patrol, nothing. So I'm like, okay, Lisa's not the cops. Lisa's not the repo man. Lisa's not the light man here to turn something off. Lisa's not the gas or the water man to turn something off. I'm like, no, I knew I paid those bills, but you never know. Sometimes things be slipping through the cracks. You better believe me. So anyway, so I was like, peek downstairs, Joy. Go downstairs, cause you know, Maybe it's somebody here to drop off a watchtower and they want to talk to you or something. So I don't know. So I'm creeping because I'm not here. I'm not in the mood to be talking about. I was, you know what? I took the day to just do nothing. Absolutely nothing. It was my day. I took this day just for me. Point blank. Period. So anyway, so I creep downstairs. I don't see nobody. So I have to put the little curtain back, right? I'm like. And then there was a box. Let me go see what's at the front door. So let's see. And I, I haven't opened the box. The only person that could have sent this, my friend in Brooklyn said she was sending something. So I'm like, I don't think she's, and I'm looking forward to that. She's sending snacks, honey. She was like, well, I know you want this new health cake. I'm like, ah, hold up, hold up. I do cheat treats, okay? I do cheat treats all the time, okay? So no, 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 no. Hold up. She knows I love the Intamin's cake, the loaf. You can only get it on the East Coast. You can't get it, you could get the little mini loaves, but it's not the same as slicing it. Hold on, let's see what Connie sent. Matter of fact, I'm just assuming that it's from Connie. <laughs> Cause she's, uh, oh! I know what this is. And it's not Connie. It's not Connie this time. I think I know what this is. I think this is gonna be for Sydney. I think this is a suitcase from Sharon Johnson. I think so. Yep. Child. Sharon Johnson about to make me have a heart attack up in this house, child. Remember, it's rare that I'm ever home alone. Let's see. Yeah, so it's gonna be the suitcase, Sydney suitcase. Yeah, I'm not gonna take it all the way out. Let Sydney take it out when she gets here. It's a suitcase. There we go. Child, that almost scared me to death. <laughs> 
Yes, all of that for that a suitcase. Somebody coming to my door when I don't expect anybody to be knocking on my door. You never had that experience? You tiptoe down the stairs and you a little shook? Cause the first time I heard a noise and I opened my door, I was like, hello? You know, not sure Clinton done slipped up in here. I was like, hello? But you know, I was ready to lock my door. <laughs> I was ready to lock that joint back. So I don't know what time it is. I don't have my phone on me, but I'm hungry. So I'm about to make me some. I'm gonna try to make some cauliflower fried rice. Um, I don't think you guys wanna see me make that, but I'll give you little clips. So cauliflower fried rice and some um, air fried chicken. Put some chicken in the air fryer. I kinda wanna fry it, fry it. Sometimes I'm in a mood for fried chicken, okay? But I'm just gonna put it in the air fryer because I know the cauliflower fried rice is gonna take a long time and I wanna try to have it made before the kids get home. I did absolutely nothing today. Absolutely nothing. I feel guilty. Do you ever have those days when you feel guilty for doing nothing? So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go get my iPad and I did a few little skits. I hope you guys enjoy uh, my skit with Miss Sweet Short Sally. Um, if you haven't watched that, it, I think it's like a minute and 48 seconds. And I actually did it for Instagram, but it was so long and you have to put it on HGTV for anything longer than a minute. And I don't think it's getting the views that I wanted it to get. I think she's a hoot. I, I, she totally takes over my brain. When I get into the Miss Sweet Short Sally character, I really get into the character. <laughs> I become her. <laughs> I just love her. I don't know why, you know, a lot of people don't love Miss Sweet Short Sally. She's sassy, she says what she wants. She doesn't care, but she's gonna love you. She's gonna love you. She's like, awesome. But today, honey, I really wanted to go get me a $5 pizza from Little Caesars. I was like, no, Joy. No, you've been doing good. Go ahead and make the cauliflower fried rice, sis. So that's what I'm about to do. I gotta go upstairs and get my stuff and I will be right back. I have some leftover cauliflower, broccoli, my onion, and some more cauliflower. So I am excited. I'm going to chop this up. I'm gonna, well first, I have to heat up my coffee, sis. I'm gonna chop everything up. No, I'm gonna look for a movie, chop everything up, then the kids get home. It is Friday, right? I did not enjoy this break at all. It was not enjoyable. It, it wasn't, it was just eh. The kids wanted something or needed something every single day. And then Sydney got upset. <laughs> it's Friday, I, I stayed in bed today, okay? I just stayed in bed. I, I think I was editing. Ooh, I tried to edit a video, didn't even upload. I'm just realizing that. Um, I was editing videos, shooting, a, I shot a few little clips, mini clips, and then Sydney, can you do this, can you do that, can you, from class, mind you, can you call here, can you do this, and all I could say was, can you just leave me alone, just one day, will you, nobody asked for anything. So I didn't have one day out of my break. Not one. It just wasn't enjoyable and today I do feel a little guilty because <laughs> I did not run I did not go to gym and I believe they close at 8 so maybe if I feel like it I'll go at 6 o'clock you know get there before 8 <laughs> so it I just wasn't enjoyable at all yeah I don't feel as though I accomplished much Tomorrow get here and my stress, my anxiety will start to come on. Sunday, anxiety hits me because I know I have to go back to school, dealing with behavior, dealing with lessons. Will I deliver the lessons effectively? Will somebody come and observe and have something to say? You know, it's always something that's never good enough. Never good enough. So, you know, so Sunday, my anxiety is to the roof. Saturday, it creeps in. A little, a little. So let me hurry up because the kids are gonna be home soon. I, I wanna eat before Sydney's asking to go back to the post office for something. It's always something. It's always something. A mom's job is never done, but I am really, really looking forward to <laughs> that light at the end of the tunnel. I really am. I'm really excited. <laughs> I gotta wait two more years. Why me? Why? 
that's okay it's okay we're gonna get there we're gonna get there we're gonna have us a new travel vlog a new eating vlog a new adventure vlog what is gonna happen on this adventure i do not know i still don't get my passport has it been six weeks i don't think it's been six weeks everything ready so I'm putting the cauliflower the broccoli the onions the eggs I'm putting everything together even putting my sesame oil okay that is an essential ingredient for fried rice or fried cauliflower hunty I go to look for the soy sauce guess who used all of that gone I, I took my earring out gone soy sauce gone so now I'm going to run to the store and to the post office with Sydney to get some soy sauce. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we just made it back from the store. And we got soy sauce. Sydney, where's the soy sauce? Oh, it's over there. I didn't even know Sydney snuck this in our little basket. It wasn't a cart. It was a little basket. <laughs> and then um, uh, we just got a small one. It's not like we're gonna use a lot of it or we're gonna be making it often. So we just got a small one. I usually like to get the low sodium. Then I could not help myself. I I I just I just couldn't. <laughs> not in my budget at all. But they have buy one candle, get one candle for free. And I always love my room and my bedroom to smell good. Um Sometimes in the morning when I run early in the morning, I like candles, so I couldn't help myself So it was buy one get one free. So I got this one. It says coconut water and palm leaf and this one is sea salt and driftwood So I am super excited um, mm, They smell so good. I don't know. It's just in the morning. I just like lighting my candle so that was my special, special treat <laughs> for me. And I'm going to turn this pot back on. And then we ran into um, Clinton's old teacher at the grocery store. And she talked about another job opportunity. She left teaching. And I was like, is it more money? And she was like, yes, it's more money. I think it's sales. It's something in sales so I gave her my number so we'll see how that goes I mean teaching is very it's very stressful y'all you, you don't understand I love it but I wish it was a smaller class size and I wish it was um, not as much pressure it's a it's a lot of work I y'all know I love it I, I give my all but it, it's a lot so anyway just to see what's out there and then um we got two more boxes delivered. The rice is pretty much done. I'm gonna eat that on my mukbang channel real quick. So I've been pack I've been packing. Okay, so I'm not as hungry, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat it on the channel, see how it tastes. Don't forget you need to subscribe to my Basil Licious Bites channel. I'm over there eating. It's really not about the food, it's about the conversation that I typically have. But you you gonna get some food and some smacking and some smacking and moaning, okay? You want to get that over there, okay? And this is the chicken. All of this chicken from the air fryer. Beautiful. 
beautiful. So I'll just tap a few pieces in a microwave <laughs> before I eat it on my mukbang channel. I want to go open those boxes because my friend, Ann Miller, sent me something and my cousin, she, she's she been so sweet um, to me. She's been like a little guardian angel. <laughs> So I can't thank her enough for um, being there. You know, we reconnected after many, many years, probably after 30 years or so. But you know how um, God brings people into your life, you know, at different times when you need them or when they need you. You know, it, it, it just happens the way it happens and when it's supposed to happen. So I'm really thankful for that. She's really been an angel. She doesn't know. She's really been an angel and a blessing. And um, so I want to go open those boxes. One box, I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it's from Connie. <laughs> I keep saying Connie. So Cindy's going to come down here and open up her suitcase from Sharon Johnson. And then the girls, I believe, also got a necklace. And I want to give a shout out for this one as well. I want to give a shout out for this one. Um... I don't know, I, there's one person and they don't like me to say anything and I'm wondering if this person. So somebody gave the girls, sent the girls a necklace. I wanna say it's this person, but I'm not sure. They got, um, so Bobby got two nameplates. I'm still wearing, I wear mine. I don't take it off, A, because my nails won't enable me to take the necklace off and I don't wanna bother the kids every day. So I just, I just don't take the necklace off. I think this is my first necklace. I had another necklace that I love my I have dog tags that I, I never got my dog tags back. They were Gucci dog tags. So I'm not going to say the name after I thought about it. I was like, maybe it's the same person. I kind of want to say it's the same person. They don't want any recognition. They don't want anything. So I'm going to zip it on that one. But they, um, she sent the girls name, little name things. Um, and Sharon Johnson sent one to um, Bobby for her birthday. So with that said, I want to go over and open those two boxes. Because I know my friend Ann from Brooklyn. She's She's been a sweetheart. She's like another little guardian angel. Whenever, oh my gosh, I can tell. A child, you wouldn't believe this stuff. She, how she just appears in my life at the craziest times. I really need to work on that book. But I have to go back so far to try to remember. I have diaries from when I was a teenager. But I did a lot of writing on Facebook. I could go back years on Facebook because I just documented everything. Some of you know. Um, I said I just transferred to video. But I've always been transparent. So let me go ahead, wash my hands real quick. And I want to put the soy sauce in this cauliflower. Let me give it a little taste. Okay. So hold on. I added a little more soy sauce and a little sesame oil. So let's see. And I added just some to my little plate. Mm. I guess the only thing that's missing is some little peas and carrots. The bomb. You know what's great? When something tastes so good and you haven't sacrificed flavor, but it's healthy for you, but it's tasting like something, like the old version of like rice. Mmm. I wish y'all could taste this, bro. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. Why would I want to eat rice, like, ever? Mmm, you know what? Oh, I don't know how that would work out. Cauliflower sushi. It's not sticky. Oh my God. That's good. Mmm, 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 mmm. That was good, bro.